Um, so wool has been our main uh, source of income, but we have some cattle, we have about 30 cattle. We sell some beef privately, um, which some people in government frown on. We sell it at the back of a Land Rover. <laughs> we can get a better price. And it's a real, got a real mixture here for you today. There's lambs, some sheep, a few sheep there that have been shorn, some that are yet to be shorn, but I just sort of did a mix up for you so you see a different, what they look like with their, with their fleeces off and what they look like with them on. Don't they get cold with the fleece off? Well, it's got to come off. <laughs> Good job, hopefully. Daddy. Now, all that happens is the sheep come in, they're gathered off the, off the hills from the camps, they're born in here, the shed will hold at 150, and then we put in these two pens here, one pen there and one there, and we have two sheep shears here. One shear is here while I'll do it in a minute, another one here. And then when the fleece comes off, the fleece is put on that table at the back, and then the fleece is rolled into the ball, and then it's graded. It spins a shaft at a high revolution inside here, and what we have here is a shearer's handpiece, which is a mechanical setup inside which spins. And also, we've got what we call a comb and a cutter. And the comb, the comb pushes through the wool, and the cutter sweeps across like a barber's clipper setup and cuts the wool. Goes over to protect the horse's back for when you put And we have this. It's different to a lot of saddles in the sense it's in two parts. It's got two sort of uh, pads here which are sewn together. And it's, it's I've rode on an English, so I've never rattled. Really good, really good stock. And there you have it there. It's very soft, for the high place. Soft and very well. That just chucks over. Obviously off a sheep that's now dead. Sitch or sober sitch. Sober sitch. That goes over the top. And again, that comes over so it's under short. And the bit goes in. You've got to be careful putting the bit in. Don't bang the horse's mouth. 
sometimes you might have to put your fingers in there to open the mouth up. If you bang the mouth with a bit, you bang the teeth, next time you go to put the bit in, they won't like it. Okay, I've got a high strap around there. How often do you trim the brain into neck rain? So you get a free hand. Yeah. You can see it also responds quite well. So, and also, and that's, that's pretty much it.